In early August of 2023, we traveled to the country of Egypt. As part of that trip, we conducted a number of technical shore dives from the city of Dahab. This site offers two distinct technical dives. The first is the infamous Blue Hole Arch at 55 meters, and the second is the bottom of the Blue Hole. In this video, we're going to go to the bottom of the Blue Hole and then continue along the bottom underneath the arch to 100 meters. As in a number of previous years, we've used planet divers for our technical dive support. The Blue Hole is approximately six miles north of the actual town of Dahab. So we're first going to travel through the outskirts of Dahab. Here we are approaching the Blue Hole. You can see the open ocean on the right and the blue hole just inside the open ocean. Over here is the original entrance to the blue hole. In case you haven't seen some of the earlier videos on the channel of the blue hole, the blue hole is ringed by various restaurants uh, on the left hand side. On the right hand side are the entry points and also the staging areas. Due to the unimproved roads and the sometimes significant number of vehicles and pedestrian traffic, uh, maneuvering through the Blue Hole can sometimes be difficult. The memorial plaques are still at the top of the hill. Uh, there is one plaque for an individual, I believe his name is Stephen Keenan and uh, he didn't actually dive diving the arch, uh, but he was a safety diver for a uh, women's free diving event and uh, he passed out shortly after he rescued the free diver so his plaque is up on the hill there are a significant number of plaques uh, and um, there is um, uh, some thought that as many as 200 divers have died on this dive site These days there's an ambulance parked up at the Blue Hole and this is uh, undoubtedly uh, increases the safety of diving and snorkeling in the Blue Hole. We typically set up our gear uh, in one of the areas on the left or the right and uh, then we access the uh, entry to the Blue Hole through this area here. So these steps are new. They were created during uh, COVID and then the latest addition um, are these metal poles with the rope uh, guidelines. So uh, it has become much easier to enter the uh, Blue Hole with those additions. Over here is the new snorkeling here which helps keep the entrance clear. In our dive plan, we start with a mix of 20-20 and we use that from the surface to 180 feet. We then switch over to 1255. At a run time of eight minutes, we begin our ascent and switch to our 2020 at 180 feet. At 100 feet, we switch to the 32 and then again switch to the 100 at 20 feet. I generally do not actively video uh, unless I'm on bad and gas. Uh, so here uh, I started filming at about 180 feet. Okay, you can see the outline of the arch uh, to the left. So here what we're doing is we're making our way uh, to the bottom. And unfortunately, I did have my light on, which is causing a bit of particle reflection. So the bottom of the blue hole, uh, or at least the area underneath the arch, is sort of funnel shaped. So it's like a long tube. Uh, here I'm looking up um, and you can't quite see both sides of the arch from the bottom. Uh, there'll be another shot of that in uh, another minute or so. So here we'll just uh, swim you on the bottom uh, until we, um, we reach 100 meters. You can see that particular day there was quite a bit of particulate in the water and the visibility uh, is probably um, on the lesser end of the 10 or so dives that I've done uh, in the uh, blue hole either through the arch or to the bottom.
There is a lot of uh, equipment on the bottom of the blue hole, snorkels, masks, uh, weights, uh, weight belts, and um, there is also the occasional flashlight. At this point, we're not really descending as quickly as I'd like, and since we have a runtime of eight minutes, uh, the faster that we can descend, um, the longer we can stay down at the bottom. All right, so there's a snorkel. There's a line, I'm not sure what the line is doing down there, maybe a remnant of a free diver. Alright, so we're going to take a look here at the top, and you can actually see the arch with sunlight on both sides. Uh, we delayed this dive a little bit in order to have the sun more overhead than we would ordinarily do. Another shot at the top of the arch. I don't recall what that was. That black object. There's one of the other divers on the dive. I think at this point I'm swimming across the bottom of the blue hole. Alright, so at this point we're headed back up and we're going to go buy a uh, number of different items that are in the bottom, like a mask. There's the line again. Weight, a couple of loose weights, a couple more loose weights. One year on the way down, I found a very nice dry bag at 250 feet. Uh, unfortunately, uh, I decided, or fortunately, I decided not to pick it up uh, for a future dive. And I did not see it on this particular dive, so I think somebody must have gotten it in the meantime. Shortly I'll be switching to my 2020 travel gas and when I do that I will stop filming. There's uh, some sort of sea creature down there. I uh, have not seen too much uh, sea life at the bottom of the blue hole. Uh, the only other thing that I've seen is one of those um, rays with the blue iridescent spots. A few years ago, it was reputed that a whale shark swam through the arch and then into the blue hole. However, I have not been able to locate any video evidence of this. To conduct this dive, you must not only be hypoxic trimix certified, but you must also be led by a technical diving guide with the appropriate level of certification for the dive. In this case, again, a hypoxic trimix certified dive guide. Not only will you have to pay for the dive guide, but you will also have to pay for the dive guide's gases. And of course, you'll have to pay for your gases as well. If an individual diver conducted this dive with a technical diving guide, they might expect to spend upwards of $750. This would include the dive guide's fee, the dive guide's gases, the diver's gases, and any rental equipment that was involved in the dive. So I generally categorize this dive as both extreme and extremely expensive.
This is Chris with Dive Zone Scuba. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.